Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today is Monday, February 4th, 616. Just wanted to go over uh, looking at the report data for the Forex. I generated this on Friday. This does mean I will be bringing this back into the analytics uh, membership for a quant, quant analytic membership. So it's generated some data for February 1st, which was Friday. So we're going to compare that data against trading view today on Monday, see how it did. Okay, so we have our usual uh, Word documents that I've shown before uh, for longing and uh, filtered on volume, and then there is a few available on trends. So this is purely on, on uh, and then we also have a small subset for a shorting as well. So here, Let's check out the volume first. Now, a lot of this comes from the world of Oanda, so a lot of it can be somewhat just skewed is the right word. Um, but here it says Canadian against Japanese yen has the highest volume against Turkey and Japanese yen. Usually when you see Japanese yen in the, in the base quote with the volume, it means that uh, that's a defense play. So knowing that, um, we go through the ranking file, but uh, to be honest, what I am interested in is uh, some of these long opportunities. Let's see the uh, uh, profit on the um, Forex pairs. So here, these are on hourly. So one note to take is I will not be trading these. Uh, when you get, I mean, this is not a bad... Uh, volume, the profit level, but uh, the problem is is that it, it's nowhere as high as what you can get in crypto. So all my strategy goes into the crypto, obviously, because unless I want to ramp up the leverage here by five to get the same type of return, it's not really worth pursuing, to be honest. That's why I put more energy into the crypto. Anyways, um, let's check out some of these documents here, these Word docs. Um, so this one is long opportunities. I've shown these before. Uh, is this blank? Yes, it is. So what we're going to look at now are two other ones, longing, filtered on volume, filtered on trend. So let's look at the one based upon um, volume first. So here it is. Now usually I just like to focus on the first. Uh, we'll leave it uh, first two or three. So remember, this was generated on the 1st of February, 22.54 was the time. So we have here these different um, opportunities. So I'll probably just do the first three. So British pound against the New Zealand uh, dollar. And as I always try to stress people to look at, are the group mean, and the group, uh, sorry, yeah, the group volume mean, and the group volatility mean. So you can clearly see as a comparison that uh, first, uh, this, this pair is less volatile than the group, but also same with the um, volume. But another factor that's important is, is the trading opportunity right now within that golden zone of the Fibonacci for value. You see here we have it going up, which is not too bad, has come off but the signaling is just, it's not that worthwhile. But we do have a steady trend up, very tight. I would say this is more like a tight range in the Fibonacci. Um, many more daily returns than a negative. Uh, but this is where it gets very interesting, is the bearish, bullish butterfly harmonic that's found, as well as um, the there was probably an opportunity not too long ago uh, with the uh, head and shoulders here being above trend. And then the uh, other interesting thing is we have a uh, bullish signal as well in the candle uh, as well. So here's the moving averages. Uh, doesn't really entice me to say there's a buying opportunity here. Less of momentum starting to pick up. We can see here it does move up, but then it comes back down historically. So it would not be 
too excited about this. Now the other one that's similar, uh, U.S. against, okay, let me, let me first look at the signaling on this on Friday. Sorry, I remember this was on Monday, so this was um, the Euro New Zealand dollar. Let's see how that panned out. So Euro and ZD against trading view. So here we want Awanda data. Uh, so let's see what the signaling says uh, for, so it is up barely. Uh, let's see what the signaling, oh. So it goes into a selling signal, very strong selling that is. And uh, we have a strong sell here. Let's check out the other time frames from daily. Four hour, it's approving, it's just from a sell. So here's the interesting thing. Now we go to a buy signal on the hourly, one minute, 15 minute, the five minutes, all buy. So what do you say to that? So currently, right now, it is a buy signal. Interesting. All right, so next one we got is the US dollar against the Polish Zlatli. So again, it is below the group mean. Uh, Volume-wise as well as same with the uh, standard deviation, so it's less volatile. But look at that. It's pretty cool, crazy when you look at these buy signals. Slight downtrend, again tight, tight Fibonacci levels. Um, I would say it's evenly distributed on the returns. But again, we have bullish butterfly found, uh, bearish butterfly. So that's a mix. So we have here um, the head and shoulders, barely above, but if it does break that trend, that's something to watch for. But this is where it gets very interesting. Look at the amount of bullish uh, candles we have here. Quite a few. So that's kind of overwhelming when you see here, right here. Uh, actually, you could probably see it on a 30-day. You know, we have a nice move up, but then again, for that day, see a day. So let's just see what it said. See, so that was USD uh, PLN Lambda. So let's check out our signaling here. So it's barely up, but uh, what did the technicals say? Again, another sell in the daily chart time frame, but let's see how the four hour barely moves hourly. Ooh. Now it's moving up. So very strange. Hourly says buy, 15 minutes says sell. This is very volatile. <laughs> Five minute buy, one minute says still buy. Very strange, but that, there's no consistent with it, see with that. So that's a tough one. We'll do one last one. Uh, GBP, the British pound against the New Zealand dollar. Uh, it looks like the standard deviation is about right, still under volume uh, of the group. So let's see what, what it says. Oh, we have a buying opportunity. It looks pretty long. We don't see a sell signal. Downtrend, not good. Tight range again. Uh, actually, I'd say it's definitely more tails on this, on the positive daily return. Mm, slightly more on the negative, I'm gonna assume. But here's where it gets interesting again. That bullish harmonic shows up, boom. Uh, as well as another bearish, so it's kind of a mixed signal, obviously. But again, if that trend breaks that, or the um, price breaks that neckline, that would be an interesting proposition. But uh, it's been trending down. Could be could be forming something on the bottoming. You see here, maybe bottoming. Who knows? So let me check it out. So it's GBP against the New Zealand dollar. GBP and GBP and ZD. Okay. So uh, I'm hoping this is so GBP. And Z D. 
So we want to land off. Uh, Okay. So what's your signal saying? Sell again. Uh, what's our uh, intraday signals looking like? So our daily is sell for our still sell one hour strong sell sell. Buy on the five minute and one minute strong buy. Interesting. Very unpredictable. But uh, it's a tough one. It's definitely no consistencies here, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see some other things in, in this report as uh, we have it running right now for today. Let's see if it's, it should be still running. Oh, yeah, it's finished. All right.